Hitting. I know you're all like, we've been telling you for ages that you need to listen to the remaining albums, the remaining songs that this man has, but really, I'm just, I'm mad at myself. Am I mad at you? I don't really know. Am I mad at him? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Herrera here. I hope that you are all doing well. I am well and truly back in my Taeyang phase. And before I sit here and watch the White Knight concert with you, I want to familiarise myself with the album, the songs, the lyrics, Please have a look at the description below to see what I'm including in this. The majority are lyric videos. I could sit here and watch various live performances, but then I'd just be watching the concert. There's nothing wrong with that, but let's familiarise myself first. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. This is his third studio album released in 2017. Two music videos, I believe, a pre-release and a title track. And I've heard two songs from this album previously. I'm thinking I might pick my most favourite song and then watch a live performance of it. What do you think? And we're getting started here with White Knight intro. Is this intro going to beat the Rise intro? Is my question. But I got a snippet of this album, this look, this voice, at this time, in the last dance concert. Wow. This is an awesome intro. You're kidding, that's an intro. Why does he keep doing this to us? I don't want this to be an intro, I want this to be a full drag. Okay, that was not enough. That was just such a teaser. Who needs a teaser when you have intros from Taeyang? I'm so pleased that he still moves down this R&B direction and that he doesn't move too far away from it. He just keeps developing it and honing it and making it sound more him, you know what I mean? Which is what makes me so excited about his upcoming album because I have faith that he's not moved that far away from it, you know? I'm really, really looking forward to it. Okay, visually, I loved how bright and sunny this was. His styling so far is just, it stops you dead in your track. That hair, that's probably the most normal hair he's had. Um, if it was black, it would literally be normal. Um, he looks awesome. As always, he looks amazing when he's platinum and styling wise movement wise i love all of the imagery we got in there as well and the lyrics were interesting i just like everything i guess it's setting me up for what this album is going to be i can't wait to fully figure out what white knight means and please let's continue I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm ready to get drunk on Taeyang. I'm melt. Oh, wow. Is love? Is love? Don't 
This is GD a la Bang Bang Bang. Where do I start? What do I say? The visuals just have such a hold on me. I can't even tell you. He looks awesome. He looks all grown up, filled out, so manly. I love this hair. I love the accessories, the tattoos, the styling, everything. I am a goner for this man. I'm in love. Um, I am really loving how vulnerable the lyrics are sounding. His voice sounds impeccable in this, the emptiness of the verse, and then suddenly going up to that really noisy chorus. I quite like that. It really just puts everything into perspective. What he's saying in the intro puts that into perspective. And I think if I remember correctly from that live that I saw, the next bit, I just really love this one line that he sings in this. I think it's here. Wow. wow. Seriously. The way that his voice is built and the way that he's able to run through notes and just do anything naturally, it's so nice to listen to. Such an R&B voice. I love that. Show us more of that. All of these circles being the sun. I do like my men in sequence. I really do. How fantastic does he look? My goodness. There's something about his voice. I say it time and time again. He does sing really sweetly and with somewhat simplicity which goes completely against what i've just said that his voice is built to do these runs and riffs and it just goes with it i think it's just because it sounds so natural and because it comes straight from his heart that it feels so simple it's really not he actually is such a complex singer um but the way that he's singing this it just feels like he's pouring his heart out like i can imagine i don't need to imagine i have that performance of him in the last dance concert for him just absolutely pouring his heart out into this song like it's a ballad but it's not really a ballad you know, it's like Taeyang's take on a ballad. Wow. I love this. Such a cool music video. Don't wake me up. Love it. Oh my god, how abrupt was that ending? And it fits so nicely with the feel of it. They could have so easily gone overboard and told us a full story, have a little mini K drama in this, but they didn't, and I actually really appreciate that. It was striking, and there was so much of that that I'm going to remember. So many like complete images, like picture images i could screenshot any of that and it would look spectacular it, it deserves to be in like a printed book doesn't it i bet the actual physical album is so nice to own please don't tell me all about it because then i'd want to own it um i really love it i don't see any song beating this if i'm honest with you and i can't believe that it's taken me so long to discover this song and that he still has songs like this that are gonna blow me off my chair this is so good vocally he sounds so damn good it actually just pains me that at this time a little bit after this time he then 
enlisted and took a little break because he's at his vocal peak here. He sounds warm and rich and full and strong and paying, right? So amazing. I'm so excited to continue this, please. I need a, I need a moment. Let me take a breath. Let me count to five. That's green screen, right? What? I just remembered what song this was and I, I'm a liar. What I just said in my reaction to Wake Me Up is a complete lie because this song is unbelievable. <laughs> Oh. Just love him so much. He's such a believer in happy endings, isn't he? And falling in love. Whoa. You think I'm not going to rewind that? You know me very little, if that's what you think. <laughs> I can't tell you as a VIP how beaming I am right now. I am so proud to be a VIP. This man, his talent, his voice, everything. I'm just, I never want to leave this feeling. I never want to forget what it feels like to sit here and do this. This is, this is top tier stuff. This is even above that. This is world-class universe level. Like how can you get any bigger than this? The way that he sounds Take all of this away. I love this visual, but when you take all of that away, even strip away those instruments, how amazing does he sound vocally? Like, I'm actually floored. I'm blown away. I've always known that he was capable of this. I've heard it so many times, yet every single time something fresh comes to me, I literally get tears in my eyes. I'm just, I don't really know what to say.
this just has such a queen feel to it. It really reminds me, I can imagine Freddie Mercury singing this. This album is so incredibly fresh. Not only is he sounding fresh, but visually the way that they've put the music videos together and also the way that he's styled. It's like a completely different person. Suddenly this is Adil Taeyang and he hasn't even enlisted yet. So you know the kind of stuff that we're going to get now that he's back, now that he's a married man, now that he's a father, the kind of stuff that we're going to get. The thing is with him, he can't hide it. He shows it off with his voice. He's so proud to be himself that you're going to hear all of those changes in his voice. And I cannot wait. I am just in awe of this song. I think that this has knocked a whole ton of songs off my top spot. And it's it's getting up there. I don't think that anything can really ever replace Eyes, Nose, Lips for me, but this is right up there at number two. This is definitely one of my most favorite songs that I have heard from him to date. I love the sound of his voice. This sounds like a prayer, like a real sincere prayer. I love the lyrics of it. I love the almost simplicity of it as well. It's a little bit away from the Taeyang that we knew in the beginning when he started um being this solo artist it's a bit away from that but i love this development i love this discovery that i am going through and i just hope that the rest of the album continues in this fresh um direction but i also i'm yearning from for some of that old r&b tayang so i hope that the rest of the album brings me some of that too this was my most favorite thing I've heard on the album, my second most favorite song of his. I loved everything about it. So the title track is Wake Me Up, right? And the pre-release is Darling, or are they both equal? My prayers have been heard. What did I just say? <laughs> Deep Voice Taehyung's making a comeback. He made a comeback and no one told me. I'm mad. What a question. Imagine being this voice that you could just be given any lyrics and sing it, even if it's ridiculous. I'm not saying that this is, but even if it's ridiculous, um, you could just sing it and make it sound amazing. That's the voice that he is. <laughs> This is a great traveling song. Nice. 
I think that the sole existence of Big Bang pisses me off because they're just so good. How am I supposed to love anybody else? Like, seriously, it's actually really irritating. Um, <laughs> um, I don't really know what to tell you. I think listening to his voice, when he gets up there in his higher voice, in his Big Bang voice, he's so confident and he just flies away with it. I really appreciate that he's taken the time to include that lower half of his voice that I love so much that was more in existence in Baby Bang days, okay? And it's very natural when you're a part of a group to always be given a certain part. And he is always given those killing parts, those ad libby bits, those bits at the end where the song is just fully built up and... He has definitely developed that part. I would love for him to be given lower parts in Big Bang songs. The thing is that when you have voices like they sung, and even sung Lee to a certain extent, you don't really then need to switch the parts. The flow that they have and the part allocations that they have, they're not, I'm not saying that they're predictable, but what they do works really well. So then it doesn't really leave a gap for Taeyang to have those lower parts very often. Um, and actually, I really love everything that he does. So I'm just going to shut up now. <laughs> Oh, that was Michael Jackson. That latter half was very Michael Jackson-esque. That is so Michael Jackson.